Hi, I'm Jeff. What's your name? Yeah? Well, screw you too. You know, so much of human evolution was catalyzed by the development of language. Once we were able to put words to ideas, there was no stopping us as a species. With this new efficient communication, we became better organized, beat out the Neanderthals in the competition for land and resources, developed art, culture, mythology, society, and ultimately the civilization we find ourselves in today. Which is why it is so puzzling that 90% of people seem entirely incapable of maintaining a conversation. It's as if they're completely unaware that the endeavor requires the efforts of at least two people. Recently, I actually asked somebody if the conversation we were having was their first, because they clearly had no idea what to do. First I ask a question, then you ask a question. We share the responsibility. If you don't start contributing, I'm going to have to charge you admission to this show. I hate to categorically equate lack of social skills with a lack of intelligence, but it sure seems like these people are dumb as a box of hair. So many people just don't seem to know how to be a person. This is particularly frustrating when they voluntarily put themselves in a social situation, like uh, accept an invitation to go out or show up at a bar or a party, and then just stand there, mouth breathing, and playing with their phone. If you try to talk to them, they act like you're an alien. Not only will they not inquire anything about you, but they dribble out only the most immediate and sparing answers to your questions. Here's a typical exchange. <clears throat> Me. So, what do you do? Do you work? Go to school? Them. I go to school. Then it's silence. Nothing more is offered until you're forced to ask the mind-numbing follow-up. <sighs> Where do you go to school? God forbid they should save you the trouble of simply, by simply elaborating a bit on their answer. Especially since in Santa Cruz it's almost certainly one of two places, UCSE or Cabrillo. Just once I'd like someone to say, I go to Bethany University, so I could say, oh, so you're an idiot. There seems to be a finite number of questions we ask each other in our initial exchanges, and boy, do they get tiresome. I swear, if I have to ask one more person what their major is, I'm going to stab my eyes out. Can't we skip this part? And anyway, is it really necessary to neatly categorize each other that quickly? After all, only in capitalist America is what do you do one of the first things we ask another person. Why don't we try getting a little more creative with our approach? Find other ways to relate to each other, or even to clash. Next time you meet someone in a bar, instead of asking where they're from, ask them if they believe in God. I guarantee you'll have a fascinating conversation, and you'll walk away with the unequivocal knowledge that you never want to see that moron again. You've just had a meaningful exchange. What I'm saying is, if we start at a certain point of assumption, we're all from some place, we all went to school somewhere, and we all have a job of some sort. With this assumption, we circumvent the staples of small talk and jump to something more substantive. Try it. Instead of asking, what do you do, how about, what do you believe in? What are you passionate about? Are you a top or a bottom? What's your stance on monogamy, bestiality? If nothing else, it would be more original, a refreshing shift from the norm. And you might suddenly find other human beings more interesting than ever before. By delving beneath the surface and sharing with each other who we are, we might even, dare I say it, evolve. Not that I believe in such a heretical idea, after all. I go to Bethany. Oh, hi there. I'm Jeff. How did you vote on Prop 8? Really?